Hey guys, uh, this is Harjit here. I hope you're doing good. So guys, as part of this video, we are going to cover basic practical of our uh, Spark data frame introduction. Uh, we are going to cover uh, that how to create a data frame, and uh, you know we are going to apply some uh, you know operations on uh, on our data frame. So if I want to create a data frame from a JSON file. So I can just give the path of the JSON file and say spark.read.json and data frame will be ready. Awesome. So we can see the contents of our data frame like this. If I want to print the schema of my data frame, that is also very easy. My data frame has two columns age and name okay so let us take this example so in in the earlier example we created data frame from a json file suppose you don't have a json file uh, you have a normal text file or uh, you have a sequence of records so let, let's take an example of sequence of records so here, here here i have created some sequence of records which have two columns name and age Uh, then I'll create a row RDD out of my sequence of records. Let us select and see. Okay, so this is the row uh, RDD that I have for my sequence of sequence of records. Now I will create a uh, schema to. You know uh, for this data frame so i'm going to say that okay name is my first column and age is my second column so i'm passing a sequence sequence is just a list if you're not familiar with scala as language so i'm just pa passing a list of uh, columns so name and age both are my struct fields and name has a type string type and age has a type integer type and uh, you know uh, so I'm, I'm creating a sequence of uh, my fields and creating schema out of that. Then I'm just passing it to Spark .create data frame function. I'm passing both the RDD, row RDD which I created, and schema that I created in the last step. Once this is done, I can see the records that I have in my data frame. So this is awesome. So I can you know print the data. I can also register my data frame as a temp view. So here I'm saying my data frame dot create or replace temp view, and this is the name of temp view. And once my temp view is created, I can simply hit SQL queries. This is the most useful feature I find in data frame. That if you don't know anything, you just know SQL. If you are used to analyzing your data using SQL, you no. Know, Data frames are very powerful feature. You can just say spark.sql and run any kind of operation on your data frame. This is just amazing. So you can see that I am able to, you know, run any kind of operation. So we have run max operation, min operation, count star operation. Uh, then we have run a filter operation. So it's all has it all has a, a SQL schema. So it becomes very easy for people who are writing bad jobs in SQL and uh, or who are uh, trying to analyze data, uh, you know, huge amount of data. So Spark, uh, you know, comes as a boon for them. They can just write a simple SQL and process the data. So this was just an introductory uh, data frame practical. Uh, I'll create more videos on data frame uh, where, uh, you know, uh, we are covering, covering more topics of data frame and you know doing the practicals i hope this video was useful for you if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel uh, you know this will help you get updated with the latest videos that i'm creating thanks for watching uh, this video this is harjeet uh, please keep sharing your feedback thank you